Hello, this is Haka Tabina. Today we are going to be reading some joke phenomena because uh, one, I like uh, like these things, and two, it has a really funny word to say. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Starting off, we have phenomena J5 called Yes Clicking. Description. Phenomena J5, otherwise known as Yes Clipping, is a phenomenon that occurs when one fails to no clip. Several dozen researchers of the Meg have committed endless hours of study into this phenomenon, and its functions have further compiled the information that can be found in this article. Here's an example of yes clipping. This is a diagram of me maybe clipping. Note how the... Hang on, let's actually take a closer look at that. Maybe clipped foot. Hurt like heck. Me calling for our someone to help remove foot from wall. Absence properly available help from the mag. That's how the mag is nowhere to be seen because they are not and ditch bags. Majorly e egregious goons. Like seriously, these guys suck. They say that their goal is to escape the back rooms, but they say, but all they end up doing is setting up a bajillion outposts on level on 948593 Because locks are residents, and it's exactly what we're looking for. I want to spend all of my days here. Not. Frick the egg. Why am I writing this stupid article? I hate this crap. This diagram was such a freaking task to come up with. You have, have no freaking idea. Want to know why? My finger may be clipped into my desk while I was typing it on. While I was typing it on my desk, watching some crappy log from the mag. They asked me to review a bunch of logs all the time. That is my job. It earns me precisely two BNTG bucks. That I can apparently shove up my I butt because I can't buy anything with them. All the stuff they sell is novelties for some godforsaken reason. Bottom line, frick the mag and frick the BNTG. I don't know what the BNTG is. <sighs> Collision. When one fails to no clip or yes clips, they will be subject to a few different effects. The petrol in question will promptly collide with the surface they attempt to no clip into, causing more discomfort and pain relative to how much force was put into the attempt. The petrol will explode. As of this current point in research, we have absolutely no clue why or how this happened. But the petrol is well, so it's come and bust on the spot. For a study is pending due to several of our researchers perishing to this anomalous effect after walking face footers into walls that we have haphazardly arranged throughout our office. Construction is kinda hard down in the back rooms, you know. The map power isn't exactly booming, and technology is practically ancient for the most part. If I manage to contact a Act one you should take exactly a and for a single equipped worker to show up just to do an inspection. Can you believe how ludicrous that is? Like, come on, I get that everyone is short staffed except and for our highly important research team because everyone in the back rooms is a researcher, but still. At least try to be a solution to the problem. What was I talking about again? Oh, yes. The researcher exploded upon contact with the inconveniently placed pillars around our office for no discernible reason. The individual would maybe clip. An act in which only half one spot is able to no clip. They will die immediately. How and why does this happen? Well, well, we have no clue. Research has been tough, and we're struggling with that to fund it in the uh, first place. Like I said before, we lost a good group of our men to spontaneous combustion. So studies have been slow. You know what else is slow? Me. Wanna know why? 
Well, my foot may be clipped into a freaking wall of a couple of months back. I hate this, this gosh darn place. It took me a, a whole day to get my foot out of that dang wall because the mag was saying, do basically take a sweet freaking time opening the door to my office. Like, I get that I was locked from the freaking outside. Like, all I had to do was turn the damn thingy on the front of the door of the knob. I'm freaking done with this, this crap. Screw all of you Maggies. I don't like saying that. I hope you get eaten by Huns, you bunch of... of jerks. Yeah. The most prominent mystery of this phenomenon has to be how one is able to collide with the surface that they attempt to no clip into. Usually, no matter the scenario, one will convenience slip straight through the wall on the first try. I mean, I'm the main character of this article, so why would I have have time to waffle around colliding with a solid wall? That's just silly. Either way, we need to do a little more research before entertaining the idea of breaking the complete anomaly down to a science. So that was yes clipping, the exact opposite of no clipping. And maybe clipping, which is kind of an in between. Now we have pending in, in title and pending numerical. Or the nomination. Pending title, joke, content war, writing, there is a lot of vocal language, when I have the time, I'll put this one in the fancy, in, in, in the box to make it look a little more professional. We will have to deal with this bland formatting for now. Speaking of, how far are we into the video? To seven minutes in. Yeah, I'll be fine. My intrinsic inability to finish it is a rare phenomenon that is only enough to affect one water to date. Me, those affected well when heavily focused on a task, feel sudden and untenable urge to do literally anything else. According to the unfortunate souls inflicted by this, it is impossible to complete a task. The mind altering capabilities of the phenomenon are too strong to fight back against. Victims have an attempt to exercise the free will to break free from this ability in endless. Events endless grass to no avail. As odd as it would seem, my intrinsic ability to finish it manifests most when writing. One begins with a fresh idea in mind, a revolutionary draft that is starting to attract lots of attention. It always starts this way, however, over time, my intrinsic inability to finish it will start steering the wheel. Victims will anonymously lose any recollection of their ideas, walking away from half assed articles that will never see the light of day. If one is bold enough, it is certainly impossible to still forward or the draft to the critique phase, allowing its seeming public database document to look over an earlier sinking pile of crap. As unconventional as it may I'd seem, this strategy provides two benefits. One, you get free direction of ideas, that is, if you can't remember what the hell oh, that level looked like, you ha and have critics fill in the details for you. In some cases, the individual might just ask, what the frick is, is this? Just ignore those people. You want people who say things like, I think you'd make up more of a lasting impact if you described this, that one specific wall and its one specific location more elaborately. This should give you the drive to continue writing. Two, if you're really lucky, your critic might just write your draft for you. Just copy and paste your little additions and you're good to go. That way, you pass this phenomenon by having someone completely unaffected by it do your tasks for you. When a fight really starts to run out of ideas, there's co and consequences of my that's a common consequence of my intrinsic inability to finish it in no time, the groundbreaking draft will be abandoned. Left to rot in writing repository hell. If you find yourself going one five minutes without writing a single second a single sentence, give the fuck up. It's no use. The brain has already been incorrupted by my intrinsic ability to finish it. And there's nothing that can be done. Now for what it's worth, there's probably someone to fight right back. 
I'd suggest doing... I'll finish this section later. No hidden text. Nope, they just didn't finish it. <laughs> Shit, I forgot the freaking end rate module. And that's something I absolutely cannot forget to leave out. Happy now? Yes, thank you. So we just read about someone who got their foot stuck in a wall by accident. I imagine that really hurts. And about someone who can't finish writing stories. Which can get a little relatable. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I just remembered what I was supposed to do today, and unfortunately I will have to be doing that tomorrow. Until then, goodbye!